Are you using Google Keep to its full potential? Google Keep is a lot more functional than you think, and here's how to use it efficiently. Hi, I'm Sherry Borsheim, and I'm an avid Google Keep user. It's been my go-to notes app that I've been using on the go for many years. It's able to eliminate all those random post-it notes that were all over my desk in my house. I use it when I'm on project with my clients, when that reminder comes to mind and I need to jot it down, or I'm in my kitchen and I need to remember to buy something. And I get them out of my head and into Google Keep. I've been using this for over seven years and I've built a complete system around it. The best part about Google Keep is it's free and I'm excited to share the system with you. Let's dive into Google Keep. I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Keep account on your desktop and then you'll be able to download the app on your mobile devices and have access to these done for you customizable templates that we've created for you. So I'm just going to jump in and show you how to do that now. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your browser and type in Google Keep. You want the desktop version and then you just download that and it will open up Google Keep. You can see here I'm in my personal account and you can see that we need some onions and some bananas and this is live. This is my actual current shopping lists and various lists that I use inside of Google Keep. What we've done for you is we've created customizable templates and where you'll find those is in here. You'll want to click on these downloads and save them to your computer. So just click on here, save it either to your desktop or downloads or create a folder called Sherry training, Google templates, Google keep templates, and they'll all be right there. What you want to do is you want to save those and then you want to save the actual headers or you can save the index. So we have a zipped folder and then we have the individual ones. So let's just do that. We'll save that. I'm just going to click them on in individually. They don't have to unzip it. Just quickly. So we've created these images for you. It just makes it super easy and simple for you to get your checklists set up and using them right away. So now that you've downloaded them, you want to go to your Google Keep and go to your downloads folder or wherever you save them. Maybe it was on your desktop. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy the title. So just go copy and up here at the top, it says take a note and you just want to paste the, the title of the note there. Next thing you want to do is you want to go back here and we have typed these all up for you. So you don't have to retype them and you just go copy go to your packing checklist and you just hit paste and you can see that there's no check boxes. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the three dots down here and you want to say show check boxes. And now you can move them around whatever order you want to have them at, but you can indent them to the left, to the right, if you want, so you can change the sort order. You just hold it with your mouse and just drag it where you want. You can put these alphabetically or you can group them together. But there you have your packing checklist. It's all done for you. Now, if you want to add the header image that we had created for you, you just go here, click image. And this is the packing checklist. And there you have it. Now, if you want to add a color, you can add a color if you want. And if you want to collaborate, just hit this little um, icon down here and you can type in their email address and collaborate with whoever. And that's how I'm able to share my packing checklist with individuals, whether they're clients or other family members or my husband. Super simple and easy to do. So now what you want to do is you want to pin it to the top. So let's just type in packing. Oops. I'm going to do it here. We'll do it up here in the search at the very top. Just type in packing and you'll see the packing checklist came up 
and you just want to pin it to the top. This one we don't need. And this one I don't need, that one. Anyways, there we go. So you can see that I have other packing checklists. Now if you just go back to your notes, there it is. I've pinned it to the top. And when you want to add something to it, you can just come in here and add. If you want to add another, like an extra section, just hit the enter key. And you could create sections if you want, but super simple and easy. So let's create another one. We're going to take a note. We're going to go to our Google Keep document. And the next one is the weekly cleaning checklist. So I'm just going to copy this here. Copy, go here in the title, hit the, paste it in there. And then I'm just going to copy all of this. Look, you don't have to type any of this all done for you. Copy. Go to your note says where it says take a note and paste it in there. Now it looks like it's got a lot of words in there, but don't worry. We got you covered. Just sh click on the three dots here, show check boxes and voila. And you'll see what we did for the section headers is we wanted to make them stand out. And if you want here, you could just add a little extra line another thing that I do sometimes and then the sections will just jump out at you a lot easier but we did them in capitals and we just put little dash before and after and if you want to change the color you can do that let's make it that and you can share them and you hit close now if you want to find your note and pin it to the top you can search for it and it will come up to the top Go into the search and type <laughs> weekly cleaning, pin it to the top. I just click on notes and there it is. I want to change the color and hit close. And so that's what you do for each of the packing checklists. Super simple and easy to do. Let's do one more. The next one is the light bulbs. This is really handy. We went around our house and we filled in over above the kitchen sink and the lights over the bathroom sink, the pot lights over the fireplace or different lights around the house. It was so frustrating because my husband would be at the local hardware store and he was like, what templates do, we, what light bulbs do we need? And we had this checklist and I actually had a printed copy and it's in our laundry room where we store all our light bulbs and I had multiple copies and you could just take that with him. But now that we have Google Keep, we can simply just open up our phones and we have exactly the light bulb type that we need. So we're just going to copy the title, go to Google Keep. We're going to paste it in here. I'm going to pin it to the top now. And then I am going to go back to here, copy all of this so you don't have to type it all in. Copy, go here, paste it in, and then go down here to the three dots, show check boxes, and there it is. Put in this little extra line, you can just hit delete. And right here, I'm just going to add a little extra space. And now you can go around your house and if you want to take photos, you can do photos and add the photos as well. You can take them on your phone and easily upload them into your Google Keep account. Just click on images and this is our light bulb list. And there's your image. Super easy and fun to do. And if you want to collab, just click on this little people icon and you can add whoever to share this with and let's just add let's make this gray and hit close so there we have our three checklists well, I'll just do it one, one more note go to our Google Keep template and this is for filters so a lot of times you have filters around the house like we have the furnace filter we have our fridge filter and we have our 
filter for our hum, um, humidifier and various other things around the house. And so what I can do is I can just keep a schedule. Now there are some apps, but my appliances that I have aren't connected to my phone. So if you did, you would have it on your phone, but otherwise it's all in here. And you know what? I'm not going to add check boxes to this. And you can see here, we added the Dyson Purifier Cool. We know exactly what it is. It's a HEPA carbon and I can set reminders in here as well. How do you do that? You just click on the reminder and you just can actually pick a date and a time. So if it's once a year or twice a year that you want to check your filters, that makes it easy to do. Let's just add our image. So our filter one and we hit filter and I'm going to hit close. And we have one more checklist that we're going to create. The most important one, the one you're going to use all the time is the grocery checklist. So copy this, paste it. We're going to pin it. We're going to go and copy all of this. Now I don't have sections, but if you're wanting to use the different sections, you can. I highly recommend that you create a separate list for drug stores. We have one for grocery lists and then we have one for Costco. So our Costco shopping list is separate. And again, just actually, you don't have to highlight those. You can just click the three dots and it will add the check boxes. And then you can just come in here and you can type fruits if I needed strawberries. And the cool thing is I only typed in a couple of letters and it will have memory. So if you have items that you buy on a regular basis or certain brands, type those brands in and it will remember it, which is really cool. It's a big time saver and it's super easy to do. So when I'm out and about and I'm driving by Costco or a grocery store, drug store, hardware store, or memory to buy a printer toner cartridge, it's all in my Google Keep. And I used to keep it in my contacts and notes on my phone. I just found them hard to find. Google Keep is super easy. You can just do a quick search and it will find it for you inside of your notes. Cause I have a lot of notes and it just completely simplified my life. So let's just add the image here. We'll just click on the image icon and add our grocery list icon. And inside of our grocery list, we have images. Um, see, I, I'll show you here. This is our grocery list. So this is a specific salt. I know this looks big, um, but it's the first image that I want to get more of. It's for my photo shoots, but these are some brands. And so we took photos of the specific <laughs> products that we like. My husband, he likes the Tropicana and I always buy the wrong one. He likes the no pulp. So I literally look at this every time I go to buy it, which is not very often, but when I do, I could just look at the image and oh, he wants the one. It's Tropicana. It's not the other brand and it's the one with no pulp. That's what I love about Google Keep is it makes it super easy and you can just see how you can add colors and have fun with this. And you can organize them however you want. You can drag and drop these weekly cleaning checklists will be handy. And again, customize this. Maybe you want it to be not by area. You could have it by week one, week two, week three, week four. You could have a seven week cycle if you wanted for cleaning and you could share this with the person that does the cleaning in your house, or if it's you, or if you have kids, then you know that the oven gets cleaned at least a couple of times a year. And you can remind yourself to clean the windows inside and get the gutters clean. There's all kinds of things that you could use Google keep for. And I love it for the packing checklist. I love it for when we go on different types of trips. So we have a trip that we go to all summer long, every summer with my family. And there's these same things that we pack every single time that I'm responsible for. So I just created a packing checklist for the family vacation in July and it's all right there and I can modify it. Now that you have your desktop version set up for Google keep, 
All you need to do is go to your phone, go to the App Store, and search for the Google Keep app. Download it on your phone, and then just simply log in, and you will have access to all of those templates that we just created on your desktop. I'm curious what note-taking app you use for all those reminders that you have. Let me know in the comments below. Now that you've learned how to fully utilize Google Keep, I think you're going to love this upcoming video on how to organize your Chrome bookmarks, which is another life-changing app that I use every single day on my desktop and on my mobile devices. I'll see you over there. Mm -hmm.